investigated at the time of her original report. She has been cooperating with investigators and no charges will be filed against her. Police are still working to find the suspect involved in the other attack. And we're following new developments tonight in the Michael Dunn case. The 47-year-old is charged with fatally shooting 17-year-old Jordan Davis after that fight over loud music. And now the court has ruled on where his upcoming retrial will be held. First Coast News' Jacob Long has the latest. Judge Russell Healy heard about half an hour of oral arguments this morning during one of Dunn's very last pretrial hearings, but ultimately he did decided that the retrial of this accused killer will be staying right here in Duval County. He was a sunshine in our lives, and I want him to be a sunshine in your life. Ron Davis holds back tears as the man charged with his son's death prepares to go on trial again in almost two weeks. A jury in February did not reach a verdict on the first-degree murder charge facing Michael Dunn. And I'm looking for Judge Healy and the law here in Jacksonville, Florida, and the state of Florida to give justice for Jordan. That's what I want. Davis has given countless interviews, which Dunn's attorney used to try and argue for a change of venue, claiming there has been so much media attention that no juror could be impartial. But Davis says he would not take back one word. I refuse to not speak out about it. I refuse to not let people connect with Jordan. Judge Healy has decided jury selection will begin as planned in Jacksonville on September the 22nd. You just go and go and go until you get to a point where you may realize, or the court may realize, that we are going to be unable to select a jury in Duval County. But for now, Davis is optimistic that won't happen. Before when we did jury selection, we had no problem whatsoever seating a jury. So I think this time will be the same, that we will see the jury here in Duval County. Now, Judge Healy also decided today that the jury in this retrial will be sequestered just like it was in Dunn's first trial. Reporting downtown, Jacob Long, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25. Still to come, a not guilty verdict. A judge clears 